How's it going? I have this weird, I don't know what to call it, thing about my ears. I don't like my ears to be dirty with earwax or whatever. I don't like them to itch. And I have a big stash of Q-tips here right next to my desk. Anytime my ears itch or I feel like there's something there, I have to dig out a Q-tip and clean my ears. So, uh, therefore, I'm typically not a person who has gunky ears. I'm a little obsessive about it. So when I had this product show up on my suggested items on Amazon, I took a close look at it, looked at the reviews, and thought, hmm, that might be something I would be interested in. For many reasons. Um, what this is, it's an endoscope. And what that basically means, it's a scope for looking inside of things. But this endoscope also comes with like a earwax cup for cleaning your ears. Well, this device will actually go inside your ear with a little camera on the tip and let you see inside your ear, which I'm totally down with. I have never seen the inside of my ears. I don't know if you have or not. But theoretically, this device should be able to go inside your ear, see inside your ear, and use this little tip to clean inside your ear. Now, I'm kind of uh, nervous about it. It's got a fairly sharp and, you know, uh, unbending end here. Uh, so we're going to be really careful. But that's where the camera part comes in because you can see where you are. And you can feel where you are. And I kind of want to see what's inside my ear. So we're going to set this up. This actually is a, is a Wi-Fi transmitter as well. It transmits the images to your phone. So we're going to uh, have our phone going and we're going to learn and experience this together in real time. Now, if this kind of stuff grosses you out, click away. Uh, but I'm fascinated. So the first thing you have to do is you have to install the Suear, S-U-E-A-R app from either your Android or Apple Store. And we're going to follow the directions step by step and install this and we're going to check it out. So, first thing we do is install the app, which we've already done. Second thing is long press the switch key to open the device. So we have this button right here. And a light comes on on the end. Can you see it? All right, and the blue light is flashing. And then it says, open the Suear app. And it says, click the go to connect icon and follow the pop up prompt and click to connect. Now we go to the Wi-Fi of the of the phone and we look for the Sue ear network okay and the blue light has stopped flashing and I think we're connected now it says click the house icon into viewfinder Oh, okay. Well, we are now looking at the endoscope camera. Do you see that? It's not very clear. Uh, one of the things it does say to do is to clean this with a cotton swab or something that has been dipped in alcohol, so we're going to do that. Okay, well, that seems kind of not a very good picture. It's not horrible. 
I suppose. Okay, what's next? So I guess we look at our interface. What is? Let's see what what all this stuff is. Horizontal, dynamic. Okay, that is interesting. That keeps the image steady. That allows it to float around. I prefer that. We have a, We can see. Sorry, we can see the battery charge here. We can lock this. I don't know. We can do video. We can, ah, interesting, right? Your our left ear. And you can record this and it'll record to your phone. And, and we have a photo album down here. So there's not really much to the app. Basically, you're able to look inside your ear and uh, record video or photos. Right ear, left ear. We're going to look at the left ear first. Okay, well, I guess we're going to do, and no other instructions. I mean, I take it back. There is other instructions because there's other. There's actually other tool tips. Sorry. So there's actually other tool tips. You can see different varieties of. Can you see that? Different varieties of tips to put on the end here. And then it's also got these other tools, long, skinny things for jamming in your ears. I'm not going to use those. Those look dangerous to me, especially that I can't see. So, are we going to do it? Are we going to dig in our ears? I'm nervous. Yeah, I got a little chunk of something. Well, I thought my ears were clean. Apparently not. They're hairy. I wonder if this is not working well because of the the way I had it set. Okay. Oh, and see, that's just a little tiny thing, but it was. Kind of hanging out there. Is that my eardrum? So I think that's my eardrum. Okay. Well, we're not going to go any farther. But we did get a little bit of stuff. Okay. Well, that was interesting. At least, I mean... At least we know that my ear is not full of gobs of stuff. It's got a little bit of stuff like everybody's does. And it actually needs to be there because that's what traps bacteria and stuff and keeps it from giving you ear infections. Okay. Oh, uh, I guess we'll go to the right ear then. All right, here we go. That felt like that went a little too deep. What is that? Huh. Interesting. Maybe you 
can see he scrape the sides. Comes out with a little bit of goo. Just a little bit. Alright, so that's kind of fascinating. I did put it in a little too far on the right side. Uh, and it scared me. So you got to be careful with this because um, it's small and it's sharp and it's not flexible. So I would say don't let kids use this. Be very careful when you use it. Um, but it's fascinating. I have now seen the inside of my ears. I think Victoria wanted to check this out. I don't think she wants to be on camera though. But anyway, uh, we're going to take this and let her try it. And I guess that's it. An endoscope for cleaning your ears. Uh, kind of cool. Kind of dangerous. But now I can honestly say I've seen the inside of my ears. And so have you. And I hope it didn't gross you out. But you know what? It's just things like this that fascinate me. All right. Everybody have a good one. And we'll wrap this up. We'll see you next time. Bye now.